You have an Amex, probably an Amex blue card in there. Yep. Uh, ends in 81003. Your Amex expires 913. It ends in 71006. It can happen anywhere in an urban shopping center like the Jacksonville Landing or sporting event like a baseball game. Now, is this a good thing or a bad thing? Bad thing. I uh, thought so. Bad because it can happen right under your nose. No, it's disturbing. It's just disturbing. You know? it's just, but that's technology. It's just the way it is. We just have to be more aware and more educated. The new technology used in smart cards, speed passes, and the new passports to make our lives easier has also made it easier for a pickpocket to steal your card information. I'm just gonna put this back in my pocket. And Walt Augustinowitz is one of those unassuming faces in a crowd, but the former insurance executive has the ability to walk through a crowd and pickpocket credit card information. The biggest vulnerability is the fact that they don't know. Cards with RFID or contactless technology are broadcasting data. Augustinowitz is the CEO of Identity Stronghold, a company that developed devices to protect RFID cards from broadcast. Next two to three years, uh, you can expect just about every magnetic stripe card in the United States is going to get replaced with this new technology. Armed with his new smartphone and an electronic sniffer hidden in his iPad case, we went to the Jacksonville Landing to see how easy it is to pickpocket credit card information. I'm just going to pass this by your wallet. You get, leave, leave your cards right where they are. I'm just going to kind of pass this by like if we were in a crowd and I'm going to see if you have one of the new cards. I got your Amex card. You're not that secure. Your Amex expires 913. It ends in 71006. In seconds, we knew all we needed to know about Peter's American Express Blue Credit Card. It's sort of buyer beware. I mean, we're, there's a scam everywhere. We tried it again with What's Robbie. Nice. <laughs> what if he was the bad guy? I'm going to clear it. Don't worry. It's gone. <laughs> Hopefully, you can't do anything else with those numbers. I could, I could actually take what we just scanned, and we've actually done this with that type of card. We've taken that and put it on a hotel room key, walked in the store, and bought something with the mag stripe after scanning your information. At first, you didn't think he had all the numbers, and then he showed you he had all the numbers. So, what's your reaction now? It sucks. You don't need any other hardware than an It also phone. happened with Lewis. Augustinowitz missed it the first time, but on his second pass, oh, yeah. so his buzzer went off. Lewis' credit card was revealed. <laughs> That's disturbing. It really is. Augustinowitz said all it took was a card reader he purchased online, a battery, and a Bluetooth transmitter. He said there are 100 million cards with RFID. Some you can identify from this symbol, some you can't tell at all. Um, yours doesn't have it on there yet. If your card doesn't have the chip yet, it's going to. His company sells sleeves and wallets to block RFID, and so his motives have been questioned by the industry. Now, your critics have said that this is all about selling uh, your shields. And, and that, that's simply not the case. I actually developed a product to protect myself when I thought that you know, we were going to have actually an ID card that had that technology in it. He said he's just trying to protect consumers. Augustinowitz believes as more card issuers turn to RFID, more consumers will become vulnerable to electronic pickpocket. They're tremendously vulnerable simply because you got that wireless aspect and coupled with the fact that they don't know. And all they have to do is get close to the card and it just read my entire credit card number.